Okay, thanks for those races from Cheltenham, Martin. We're now over to the Paddy Power Dialabet Chase, the grade one here for over three miles, three furlongs. Soft conditions. And the runners are Barra Killer for Graham Clutterbuck, Battle for Sparta, Joshua Sutherland, Christy Ev for Darren Howes, Fort Lauderdale for Paul Rhodes, five, Greensback Park is Go Sapper, six is Half Hour Hancock for Stu Gray, Itambo for D. Thompson, San Soyon for Molliet, Strike the Goal for Leon, Bread and Butter for Derek, Nievery from Martin Leland, Princess Peach for David Robertson, and War Feather for Thunderspark. Thirteen of them, unlucky for some. Let's see if thirteen finish. And the starter's got them away. And we're going to wait for him to settle here at uh, Bunch's Dune. That wasn't at all Irish, was it? Uh, the one leading him into the first. And we've lost one there. Bread and butter's gone. Del Hinton's horse just didn't make the first. So we're down one. Twelve left. As we've come to expect uh, in this year's national hunt. It's a Greens Bank Park that leads us for John Morgan. Not one of his new hilltop stables. But uh, still a well-known front runner. So he's leading by a couple to Fort Lauderdale, out. And then we're four to five back to a wall of horses. Which uh, half hour Hancock's the furthest wide there. That's ten wide as they approach the third. And they're all and the one that didn't go over that particularly well was the new horse Christy Ev for Darren House. But plenty of time. So as they come around this bend, as I said, the horses are gonna get really pulled wide here. Princess Peach, half hour Hancock. Battle for Sparta's probably going to lose a length or two. Although well, some good jockey... No, I thought the jockey on half hour Hancock was going to do the right thing and come in. But he decides to stay out wide. So there's a big, long, sweeping bend. That's Greensbank Greens Park. From Fort Lauderdale, a couple of lengths. And a few lengths back to Barra Killer. The one against the fence is San Soin. Outside of that is War Feather and Itambo. And we've got Battle for Sparta wider still. Princess Peach, Orange Silks of Nievery, Blue Silks against the fence, Strike the Gold, the Grey Half Hour Hancock, and Christy Ev just at the rear at the moment. So, still two and a half miles to travel, and still well over seven fences to negotiate. So, we're coming up into the stand. This will be the last, I think, next time round. All over that little plain one. Again, Christy Ev not taking it well at the rear. As this half hour Hancock gets himself a little bit detached as well. The crowd cheering here at Punchestown. There's two massive screens. It's cost a fortune. A couple of fields. As we see them from uh, a long way away. You need your 3x20 binoculars. So it's Greensbank Park still leading. As he has done for the previous circuit. From Fort Lauderdale in second. And we've got five links back to the pack. And then we've got a couple just at the rear. And the two new horses, half hour Hancock and Christy Ev. Approach the fifth. Everybody's over it. It's still Greensbank Park by a length now to Fort Lauderdale in second. And coming out of the pack is Battle for Sparta. And we've got Barracilla alongside him. War Feather, Itambo. Strike for goals just following them through. A couple out wider in Yevry and Princess Peach against the fences Sando Sion. And then a couple of lengths back, maybe three to four to half hour Hancock and Christy Yev. Take this big sweeping turn again. Past the ambulance, which really should probably be parked near a fence, not just out in the middle of nowhere. Now you're having a cup of tea. So, as we're waiting for him to approach the next. 11 fences here over this 3-3 three, three, three. a little dirty road downhill now and eventually get to the next which will be the 7th if we look at this course it looks like it's uh, still about a mile away so Greensbank Park still leads us with Fort Walden on his haunches and we've got 3 or 4 lengths back to Barracilla against the fence Battle for Sparta Hamburg also towards the route. Now yeah, wide we've got War, War Feather. <laughs> Strike the gold. Followed through by Sando Sion, Princess Peach and Nievery. And we're still detached by about three to four is Christy Yev and Half Gower Hancock. They all get over that one. The grey that didn't take it particularly well was War Feather. Although that's Thunder Sparks four miler. 
So a big drop in distance here. And may well get caught for toe when it comes down to the the sharp end of the race. Right, they hit the seventh. And everybody's over that plain one. So it's Greensbank Park, Fort Lauderdale. out. Still one and two as they have been throughout the race. A couple of lengths from Barrakilla and Battle for Sparta. And a few lengths back to Itambo. San Sion moved off the fence now. And more feather the dirty grey. And the outside of that is Strike the Gold. And we're losing one here. Looks like half hour Hancock's being pulled up. And a particularly good run round. We get to the eighth, which is a ditch. Everybody's over that. Done quite well over three mile three to only have had one pull up. Just happens to be a Stu Grey horse, which is fortunate for the trainer. So it's Greensbank Park that leads into the ninth. It's a plain one. Jumps it slower than Fort Lauderdale. A little bit of pressure now, Greensbank Park's jockey. Trying to hurry him along a little bit. Fort Lauderdale still sitting ominously. The one out of the pack now is Sandos Sion. Barrakilla making up some ground in the outside battle for Sparta. Blue Silks of Strike, the gold is starting to go well. They're going to the 10th, another plain one. Everybody's over it, but up front, it's all now a bit more exciting. It's Greensbank Park, Fort Lauderdale, Battle for Sparta. They're all together, and the one that's sticked its nose out is Barrakilla. So Barrakilla leading him into this left turn, and they're going to line up for the judge with a couple left to jump. It could actually only be one left to jump, because I'm not sure there's such a distance between fences here at Punchestown. But it's Barrakilla and Battle for Sparta that lead now. The ones that have dropped back are Queens, Queensbank Park and Fort Lauderdale. They will have to have second wind. But it's Battle for Sparta that starts to pull away now as they start to straighten up. With Barrakilla on the outside is War Feather. The black and red green... Bleh, the German silks of Sandor Sion is travelling well. Fort Lauderdale is having another go, as is Greensbank Park. But now up front, it's War Feather. War Feather leads by a length from back to San, oh, Sandosion. And these two are now starting to pull away. Fort Lauderdale and Greensbank Park are trying to get back into it, but we've only got a furlong left to travel. They approach the last. Let's see how they get over it. They do. And War Feather still leads, but the fastest jump was Greensbank Park, the earlier leader. But it's War Feather, Sandosion, and the outside is Greensbank Park. Greensbank Park is just getting up now. Greensbank Park from War Feather. Greensbank Park. Greensbank Park takes it from War Feather in second. Sandosion did well for third. We obviously lost Chris Liev there and also got pulled up. A good win there by John Morgan. Took a little rest to furlong and a half out, but then got just straight back up from War Feather of Thunderspark. Third was Sandor Sioni for Molliet Surf, which was a new horse. He'll be glad with that. Coming third in a group one. I'll just wait for the final card. So there's Greens Bank Park for Go Sapper. Second is War Feather for Thunderspark. Third is Sandor Sioni for Molly at Surfer. Fourth was Fort Lauderdale for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was Battle for Sparta for Joshua Sutherland. The usual suspects.